Hello there everybody, this is of course Nick Dutch chilling out shortly after a brunch and I've been sent through this private message with a link to another crap video which I have not yet seen. The message quite simply says, trans mediumship, have a look at this pile of shite. You can almost see the dollar signs in her eyes. Okay, well let's see uh, what we can see here. Hmm. What the afterlife is really like. Messages from a spirit guide. Veronica is the name that we have given to this highly powerful whatever the fuck. The afterlife experience is a universal question. It's one we will desire an answer to. Hmm. Well. Veronica? Yes. So, to continue, even though we've covered this briefly about what happens when you die, I think a lot of people want to know a little more specifically, like, do you keep all your memories, do you keep all your relationships? Yes, of course. And you notice the fire engines are coming again? How weird that is? Yeah, it's really weird if you live in a city and there's a fire engine going past. Yeah. Now, uh, just for those of you in the audience who aren't actually watching this, this lady is dressed in uh, what looks like a very expensive um, silk kind of material shirt with some uh, silvery patterning on it. Uh, she's got quite, you know, quite well done blonde hair. And she always had peroxide bleached, I can't quite tell. Um, she looks pretty vacuous. Let me go. I'll ask you again. When you die, do you, do you keep all your memories and all your thoughts, and are you you? Yes, you are. And, and when you have other incarnations, the experiences may be different, and circumstance may be different, but the energy is fairly the same. So your experience can be different. The circumstances can be different, but the energy stays the same. Are you following this? Yes. So, when you die, if can you know if you want to what the people who are still living are doing? Like, if they have a yes, marriage? I most do. Most are very interesting. So if there's a birth or a marriage, you can know if you want? Yes, of course. And, and can you be at your own funeral? Yes, of course. So when Larry King asked the question, what happens when you die? And like 20 experts say, is it possible to say that? Is it's that a, a very individualistic experience. There's no standardization to it, but we can. Wait a second. Now she's saying there's no standardization to it, but up to this moment, she's just been saying, yes, yes, you can. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, babe. Sorry, I was getting a bit carried away there. So, why wouldn't she have actually gone into a bit more detail and, and say, well, in one particular case, this happened, or one particular case, that happened, and, you know. If it is a little fuzzy, then she should have said it's a little fuzzy rather than yes, 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 yes. As if she's like really enjoying herself sitting on that comfy sofa. And why is one of her arms over her lap anyway? I mean, you know, there's questions here, real questions. I feel that all memory is retained. Well, I don't even remember what I had for breakfast last week, all right? So all memory can't be retained if I, as a living individual, cannot remember what my breakfast was last week, this, this day last week. You know, memory is not retained when you're alive, let alone when you're dead. But the point being that it can be totally said and known by many different entities, not just you, yeah. what ha happens when you die. Yes. It's not an Again, unknown. the experience is very individualistic each time it occurs. And there are patterns within certain energies, what does occur. But we can tell you that all memory is retained. And because
because you are not linear, it's easy to access all of it at once. This woman does not look like she's in a trance to me. She's speaking in a rather slightly aggressive manner, actually. She's very much awake and alert. There's nothing about her which suggests that she's in, in some kind of trance mediumship state. This is... Uh, quite poor acting by someone who appears to be trying to exercise a certain level of control over people. I, I find this slightly disturbing. It's only difficult from the perception that you are currently focusing on because you are linear and it's difficult to be expansive while you are focused in the timeline. Linear, expansive, focus in the timeline. Has she been watching too much like Deep Space Nine or something, huh? Yes, but you're linear beings, yes, come into the wormhole, everything's nicer over here, yeah. And in all your physical deaths that you've experienced, and many, I assume you know many entities who have experienced this. Yes, death, of course. It's not a fearful thing. No. So your body's going to be in extreme agony as all the bits of it start shutting down, and you're like, it's not going to be a fearful thing, no. There may be an element of uncertainty, and it all depends on what type of death you're participating in, what the... No, 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 there wouldn't be uncertainty of everything you spoke about saying yes, 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 yes all the time. Was going to happen or come true, you know what I mean? So, you know, logical inconsistency in um, the words of a dead person. Linear moments may be like, but if you are confident in understanding what the afterlife is really like, then the linear moment diminishes somewhat, even if it's a fearful moment. So you've got to have a full and complete understanding of the thing that you can't fully and completely understand in order for you to be happy in it. It is not fearful to die. Sometimes the moment of dying or the process of dying can be a little bit discerning. But knowing that once you pass out of the physical, you retain your full self, plus you have access to all the other experiences that you've had. So it's a very... I've done an astral projection on a couple of occasions. You don't have this like total knowledge thing going on. Seriously, you don't. Very expensive moment and quite common and quite interesting. Oh, now her website comes up. Mm. Now we will say that some when they cross over are expecting certain linear events that they've been taught in cultural ways. But their guides are usually in place or those who have known them well are available for counsel and will help them adjust themselves in a more eternal moment than just the linear that they've come from. This is like Hard Truth Claim City, you know what I mean? There's none of the, um, this, whatever it is, raises a few questions thinking, you know. There's none of the, well, this happened to me and it was rather curious and I don't quite know what it means, so can we ask a few questions about it, please? No. It's all, oh, yes, yes, it would happen to you, Jane, and Evie. Uh, this is why normal people hate us, okay? People like her. Um... This is why, you know, it's like, uh, I'll try and put a link to the website down there, sorry, the video down there, so that you can visit it if you wish. Keep cool. Merry Christmas.